Well, I think decisions like that are not made hastily. I think it was a, a slow and gradual process for her, where it, we took 2013 completely off from band activity. The first time that we stopped touring in, I think, 11 years. We've been working consistently all that time, and um, I think during 2013 she had a lot of time to reflect on her life and what she wanted to do and how she wanted to go forward, basically. And I think she came to the conclusion, really, that um, that didn't include Arch Enemy in her plans, really, so as, as far as being a performer and touring, uh, touring musician. Um, this was not a, a big surprise for us because, like I said, it was a gradual process and something that we maybe for us who were in the band had seen it coming for some time. But of course, it's still, it was, uh, it was a very big uh, problem for us in a way. But when she said finally that I'm leaving uh, the band and you know, you should find a new singer and continue, and it was like, it was something for us to think about for a while. And, uh, but I think like, uh, I mean, your question was when and how, I think it's more like it's. It wasn't like a, a moment where she said, "I'm leaving the band." It was more like a gradual process. And you know, the band we're very close, uh, like a family. You know, we've been living together and touring together for over ten years. So you notice when somebody's not feeling 100% comfortable with something, or so it's like a family situation. But yeah, it was a gradual process. When Angela finally made her decision, informed us, you know, officially that she was leaving the band, um, we, uh, myself and uh, Charlie and Daniel, had a meeting in my hometown, and we discussed our options and our uh, feelings about this, and um, we thought. You know, there was two roads, we could, two paths we could choose. And one was to stop doing Arch Enemy and maybe start a new band or something, but end Arch Enemy and create something new, basically, musically, because we knew we still wanted to play together. Um, or we could try to find somebody to replace Angela and find a new singer um, and continue with Arch Enemy. I mean, Arch Enemy is a band that's been our life for me and Daniel have been playing together since 1995. It's a long time and it's a part of our, who we are as musicians and artists. It's really our favorite vehicle for creating music. And it's, um, it's not easy to give up on that. And we also have so many fans and people that enjoy the music. But we obviously had to, if we were supposed to find a new singer, we had to find somebody who could follow Angela. And Angela was a very tough act to follow because she was, uh, well, firstly, she was very good at what she did, singing, and then she was also very famous and charismatic and iconic, in a way, a uh, front figure for the band for many years. And, um, yeah, that's something we discussed, you know, that day <laughs> a lot, as you can imagine. And um, we made a little list of that day, attempted to make a list of potential singers, just brainstorming, and we discussed a few people, but only one person was written down, and that was Elisa's name, because uh, she was recommended to us by Angela. She said this, she would be perfect to replace me. Um, and uh, we've been very familiar with Elisa for quite a few years, um, followed her career, and uh, I didn't know her personally before, but uh, I just knew her as a really great singer, performer. But um, we've watched her sort of grow up, if you know what I mean, because we're following her from the beginning, so to speak, and um, just watch her grow up as a performer and artist. And yeah, I, mean, I didn't really think, couldn't really think of anybody else. We decided quickly that we wanted to go with a, a female, uh, a, a woman singing, because we've had a woman singing in the Arch Enemy for so long with Angela that you would feel really, I think the dynamic in the band would change too much with a, a, a male singer. Um, and you know, 
we've had that female perspective in the band <laughs> for so long that um, it just felt like that's probably something we should do. But if it wouldn't have worked out with Elisa, we would have probably looked at men and women uh, to sing in the band. But uh, Elisa was just, we weren't sure, but when she came over to Sweden to rehearse with us, it was uh, beca became clear very quickly that it was going to work out. Initially, we um, invited Elisa over to Sweden to record some demos with us. Um, and that worked out really well. Um, I'd sort of planned it in three steps uh, where we would work with her rehearsing old music, the classic Arch Enemy songs in the rehearsal room live with the band. Um, I wanted to see and hear her thing. We all wanted to see that, how that would uh, sound and you know, how it would feel. And that was excellent. She really can really sing Angela's stuff. She knows Arch Enemy's style and she could really deliver. Um, then we, I wanted to do some writing with her, like some collaboration, and see how that worked. Um, that also worked out very well. And then I wanted to record with her as well in the studio. And we had, uh, I had made a five song demo with uh, the guys before, instrumental tracks, and uh, we worked on those. Uh, with Alyssa, and that worked out very well. So, very pleased with the the, the demo results in the pre-production. Then she went back home, and we continued writing new music. This time, of course, with Alyssa's vocals in mind. You know, her whole the things that she can do that she could bring to the band. So it was a so about half half of uh, writing music with no singer or maybe Angela and then half of the album with writing specifically with Elisa and mine. But um, the recordings with Elisa were fantastic. I mean, she's a very professional in the studio. Um, she has great technique, great feel, great sense of rhythm. And this really, I mean, for me as a songwriter, she's kind of a songwriter's dream in a way because she's so, uh, She can do so many different things with her voice. I really, I mean, there are a lot of moments on this album that I'm very proud of. Um, we worked really hard together on it, and uh, I think what I told the guys when we I started writing was that I wanted to have a more. I was not uh, not unsatisfied with uh, Chaos Legions, the previous album, but I wanted something a bit more, uh, add more, more of a, like a journey, you know, more ups and highs and lows emotionally and more, uh, more melodic and I wanted a deeper sound and more um, full sound. Um, I think we achieved that. There are a lot of moments, there are a lot of really emotional guitar moments, there are a lot of emotional vocal moments and uh, everybody's really playing at a at really high level I think on the album. This album sounds fantastic, I'm really happy with the production and the mix. I think um, for me there's a song on the album called Time is Black and for me that is a, a bit of a achie uh, kind of an achie achievement as a songwriter and uh, a guitar player with that song. It's uh, it's got elements in there that I've never used before. Um, it has real orchestra instrumentation. You know, uh, I worked with a conductor and a uh, arranger, and we came up well actually for a few songs on the album. Um, but it's just that song to me. It's kind of it's got a progressive touch to it, which is an area I don't really go to that often. Uh, but it was a lot of fun, and it has a, some really. It's kind of a journey in itself, that song, and it's uh, something I'm very proud of. Hello, this is Michael Amart from Arch Enemy, and if you are watching this, you probably know who I am and what band I am 
in its arch enemy and hopefully you are enjoying our new album War Eternal. In many ways it's a, a new chapter, a new era for arch enemy and it's a very exciting time for us. We are very proud of the album. We put a lot of work into it, more work than I've probably put into any other album before. Um, it's uh, a piece of work that I am uh, feel is an achievement for us and we've overcome some difficulties to get to this point and uh, I think it's a really strong statement. Um, I think that um, a lot of these songs will be fantastic live to play and we look forward to coming out and performing live for our Japanese fans once again. So thank you for listening, thank you for watching this DVD and also please enjoy War Eternal and thank you so much for your support. It really means more to us than you'll ever know, I think. So thank you very much. Bye.